This is what we call my knotting room. I'll explain what it really is. It's where we make the wigs. We start off with a foundation. I make a shape of the actress's head, some cling film and stuff, and actually get an actual shape. It ends up something like this, so that you've got a head shape. And then that gets put onto a block. And Anne, who's been with me more years than she cares to remember, will then turn this into the foundation of a wig. We would then fit that again on the actress, and then it gets put onto a block, like this. This is, the back has already been done, the front is still to be knotted. And then it's done by hand. This is where we often wish that we had sort of machines, but there is no machine work in any of this. Now this, of course, is a huge collection of wig blocks, wooden wig blocks. We keep some of the shapes on the blocks because, for instance, you have certain heads uh, which are either big or small and the blocks fit them perfectly. That one there, for instance, that's Peter Kay. We've recently done him for the producers and he, Peter's got an enormous head, so we keep that on, on there. And we have these shapes for everybody we've ever looked after. You know, the Herbert Lahm with a Maureen Lippmann there, it's all sort of in here. And then sometimes you get sent a head shape or rather you don't see the actor, so they send you a cast. And if you have a look at that, this is one I've never been able to throw out. That, of course, is Jack Nicholson, and this is when uh, we were working on Batman film and he was the Joker. Because the way we make our wigs these days, they are lightweight. They're um, bases which breathe lots of little holes, so uh, that, that it's not sort of like intensely hot the way old-fashioned wigs used to be. There are people in this show who will have as many as seven or eight wigs each. Well, of course, that means that during the course of an evening they are changing as much as they are their costumes, and that's what becomes a little wearing, because after you're thinking about what you're doing on stage, you come off and you're almost playing another part. It's, very, it's just as choreographed with these musicals off stage as it is on. This is my sort of hair room, you call it. We keep uh, all the hair that we use for our wigs here. This is, of course, a rather violent colour, as you can see. And this is going to be, will be turned into the very spectacular finale wig, which Michael Ball is here in Hairspray. So we're going to use that as a basic colour. As you can see, we're not talking subtlety in this production. And then there's going to be streaks of this and streaks of this in it. And that's how we um, start off and that's how we work. And Keith will have started off with quite ordinary coloured hair and he's specially dyed this to get the effect so that the costume goes with the dress, etc. But as far as personality is coming through, of course, the idea of Michael Ball dressed as a woman was an absolute gift to me. I just thought he's going to love this and we're going to have great fun with this. And actually, I can see what he's going to bring to this part and how he is going to need to look as Edna Turnblad, as opposed to anyone else who's done it before. This is um, the first wig which we actually made for the character of Tracy. She's looking a bit bashed around. We did a huge uh, photo shoot. She wore this for a whole day, so that's going to need another set. That gives you an idea of the amount of work there is in this show that every single day these wigs have to be redone and dressed and you know, sorted out for the performance. This show is completely different. The dance routines they do, in combined with the looks which we have to achieve, these huge great hairdos, everything's going to have to be you know, teased and backcombed and then sprayed with an inch of its life to stand a chance of getting through a performance. So I've got to forget all of my problems over using hairspray and just say well it's in the title so we're going to use it. <laughs> 